get going, so. They're pretty cute, I like them, ah, I like them. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ellie. Um, I go by Ellie Millie. I am a freshman in college, it's my second semester, and this is just my little vlog series. I like to post about my art, and I'm majoring in business and minoring in art. Currently, it could change. I run a small business, and I just kind of document my process along the way. So, thanks for watching, let's get to the video. I'm gonna get my backpack, put my shoes on, and I've got my music, and I'm gonna fill up my water bottle, and then pack up you, pack up you, and get going, so. as best I could do the angle so I'm gonna be taking off my makeup and doing my skincare routine probably not gonna have the footage time to like show you everything but just know that's what I'm doing so admire the makeup for one last minute even though it's my everyday makeup for one last minute before I become nighttime Ellie <clears throat> hello it is March 11th um, I <laughs> I overslept some of my classes, which is why my voice sounds kind of like groggy, like morning voice, because I literally just like woke up um, in the middle of one of my classes, like it's going on right now, and so I'm not gonna make it on time. So I'm just gonna work on some things for my small business and just get some work done on a video that I'm trying to get out fairly recently. So yeah, I just got back from my entrepreneurship class. It was long, but. It's over now, and I have Starbucks in a couple, in like an hour or so. But I just got this Coca-Cola Spiced from my vending machine like room downstairs, and it's been pretty good. Like I tried it. This is not like a sponsor or anything, obviously, because I don't have sponsors. But like, this isn't a sponsor or like a hop on the trend. Like, I just like Coke. I had, like soda, <laughs> so I like to try the different kinds. Like I tried one they had like Coke Starlight. That was actually pretty good. I like that one. Um, I haven't tried their, like, K-pop Coke yet. Like, I don't know where to find that. That's crazy. I can't even remember what it's called. But I've been curious to try this. Not, like, seeking it out, but I just saw it by chance. And I was like, mm, might as well. Um, and actually, the first time I tried it, someone bought it for me. And I tried it. 
so like that was zero cost like free trial <laughs> and it was actually pretty good enough for me to like be like mm, I'll drink it again and hopefully like the soda machines in my dining hall like have it instead so I don't have to like buy a bottle every time or like go to the store and get it but it's pretty good so I'm just gonna crack it open it's not like anything to like sh like it's not spectacular it's not like the holy grail or anything I wonder if it's like on my camera <laughs> Um, but I do think it's, like, pretty good. Because it's, like, I don't know how to describe, like, what they mean by spice. There's, like, raspberry spiced flavor. And it's just, like, kind of a Christmas-y spice, you know? It's hard to explain. And it's not, like, the greatest Coca-Cola ever. But it's pretty an interesting flavor. It's a good change from what I'm used to. cleaned out this bucket that I was using for a reel and it had all of my leftover stock of earrings and I wanted to inventory them so the candy corn two of the um carrots a lot of the pumpkins let me count them the leftover pumpkins these cute apple pears left six of the love letter ones four of them are red hearts and two of them are pink hearts these dongo baby ones and these ones are my favorite ones to make so it makes sense why there's so many of them these chocolate dip strawberry ones left one of those blue polaroids and two of these christmas santa hat ones there's the little inventory of all the earrings and i think i'm gonna keep one of these cute apples for myself i have a pair of the other ones but not some cute apples yet
Whew, I just got back from my Greek and Roman lit class. It's like starting to warm up because it's starting to be spring. It's March 19th and I'm a little sweaty because it was like hot outside because it is warm. The sun is out so I didn't have to wear a hoodie to class. It is nice. It's nice. I got this. We have smushed blueberry frosted donut, mini donut from my food place that I just, dining hall that I stole. And then we have the Coke Zero Spice because I didn't think I would like Coke Spice and this isn't sponsored but I actually think the flavor is interesting and a good like change up <laughs> from like the normal Coke flavor so yes we got our drinky we got our snack I'm going to kind of unwind and watch some of the Jasmine Lay I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but I like her, I found her vlogs recently. I think she's pretty chill. So I'm gonna unwind, watch some of those, and then tackle a midterm. I have an essay to write that was opened last Thursday, so I should do it like now. <laughs> and then I have a midterm es essay quiz, or midterm, open all of today and then it closes and it's worth a lot of my grade in my art history class so i have to get that done too and then tonight is our acapella club audition for a concert like it's a kind of a high stakes concert and only a few people are selected so our group is auditioning for that so cross fingers about that but yeah that's just my little life update Okay, so it's Wednesday, March 20th. I'm going to get ready to go to ceramics. Right now, this is the fit. I'm wearing my Haunted Mansion Madame Leota shirt and these overalls. Pretty cute. I like it. The fit. Warm spring day. It's getting warm here where my college is. And it's so exciting and just like motivating for it to be so warm. Hydrate or dehydrate. Um, but I'm so glad that it's like warm outside and it makes things so much just like easier and like it's not as hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna be heading to the Sherman Studio in a couple minutes. I finally got some pieces back from the kiln, which you might have seen in some clips already, or they're gonna be after this, but finally got some bisque fired pieces out of the kiln and they all survived. I'm so happy to see that they're like doing well and i can't wait to glaze them in in the future the ceramic studios the last day for wet clay greenware to be on the shelf to be fired is april 4th which is a little bit stressful because that's in only a couple days i'm saying the stress is really hitting and i have to have all my assignments and anything i want fired on the gr greenware shelf by that day and then our last glazing day is like the 11th <sighs> the dates are just so close which is really stressful so that's the only downside of the ceramics class but otherwise it's been super fun i'm like getting things back finally and then i just gotta glaze and take pictures once the, the um once the last wet clay day is passed and hopefully i don't have to bring any clay home i have a feeling i will end up having to do that because um i just have so much clay which will be a little tricky but maybe i'll figure out how to use it over the summer yeah, that's what we're working with, so I'm gonna get changed. This is the hair right before I go get bangs tomorrow morning. It's like Thursday night and I get bangs tomorrow at um, 10 a.m. 
and I'm like so freaking scared but I'm also really excited for like a change like I haven't changed my hair in a long time and it just feels like the vibe but that means that these like frontal pieces are going to be the ones that are going to get chopped the most probably which really sucks because they have this lightning like white lightning in them which I really like the color of like I like the color a lot I think it just adds like an extra like little detail to my hair so that really sucks and there is a little bit grown out so it's not gonna be able to be seen as well so I'm hoping she can just like cut them a little bit longer because I want to have them longer to start out with just so I'm like know what I'm getting into and stuff but I'm really gonna miss this like lightning color and I'll just get it redone when I go back for summer and stuff but right now it's just gonna be like this for a little bit and I'm hopefully I don't regret it hopefully I don't miss this and like I can just like hair regrows hair regrows and, and i can just part them to the side if i don't like them it's okay i'm like rationalizing because i'm so freaking scared but hopefully it'll be good i'll show you tomorrow i'll probably update you tomorrow before i go and get the cut so hey it's, it's like 15 minutes before i'm about to go get my hair cut and i'm really scared that's why the camera is shaking so much but um, yeah, I guess I'll show you what happens after. But this is what it looks like for now and hopefully I don't regret it, so. This is how the bangs look, which is really interesting. They're probably like longer than, than I think I was like envisioning in my mind. But I'm like okay with that because I can probably trim them if I want. And also just seeing her cut like this much hair, that's like, I just my hair so long so seeing so much of it fall was really scary so this was really like all I could handle and they're definitely new I'm definitely adjusting to them it's been a couple hours since the cut so I think I like them better they're super flat because they haven't been styled and they're not like trained so I'm getting used to it I might want to like cut a little bit of these like front ones so I can have some wispy pieces right here that are a bit like eyebrow level instead of this length but we're figuring it out we're <laughs> we're figuring it out Harry grows I uh, um I'll update you in a in daily increments of what I <laughs> what I'm feeling recently um they're still really confusing so we'll see Hello, it is day four of bangs, also this, here they are with the headphones, and I'm actually liking them pretty much, they're kind of fun, sometimes they're in the way, sometimes I'm like, what are you guys doing, like, get out of here, <laughs> but I've actually enjoyed them a lot, they're kind of, they're growing on me, and I might, like, be getting up some confidence to maybe in the somewhat future, like, do a little bit shorter right here, like, maybe eyebrow length i don't really know but i also kind of like this you know i'm still working on getting that like swoop perfected but oh crap i just spilled on myself pretend like that didn't happen <laughs> but yeah it's been pretty chill i'm feeling the vibes of like semester is wrapping up kind of we have one month left and just like seeing how much i've grown as a person and like emotionally and all that and just like being comfortable with change and moving on and it's really incredible to like see how far I've come and like realize that journey. I've been talking to a counselor since January and seeing the progress and like he's seen the progress. He was like, I'm impressed like genuinely with how what you're at, what point you're at and that's just really cool to be able to see. And like I feel like happy. Like I've gone through a lot of hard things and some things still hurt and like I will always miss my dog and everything but I I feel so proud of like the changes 
that I've been through and like how I'm embracing change. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna cut these bangs. Yeah, I'm a, the future is uncertain, but that's exciting. And I've never really had the perspective until now. And I just really love college. And like, I love who I'm becoming and yeah, we're, we're chilling. <laughs> Here's the bangs currently, like a little messy, not brushed, but without the headphones. They're pretty cute. I like them. Ah, I like them. <laughs> that I could do it, that I could make it work. And yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. My computer is installing a server vomit. What's been on my mind lately. I'm gonna go through this and see if there's anything I wanna talk about. It's a whole lot. And I feel like I've been really like raw and honest in here, which is something that I feel like I always struggle with whenever I'm- will be a good guide for therapy today. Hopefully I'll feel better after. That would be cool. Hello. Oh, the hair is going crazy. Okay. It is March 29th, so it's officially been one week of having these curtain bangs, and I actually really like them. Okay, I was freaking out the first day I got them, which was a week ago, because I, I I just haven't had a haircut. Like I've gotten trim and stuff, but not like a major cut where it's like like eight inches of hair cut, but like ever, so like not ever since I was eight. So. It was a little intimidating, but I like them now. They're cute. Yes, they're vibing. They're vibing. We're still figuring them out, but I like them. Um, yeah, just a little kind of probably going to be one of ish the last clips in this vlog because it's probably getting chunky and it's March 29th. So the March vlog is almost over, but just some little updates. I made this flower coaster. The pattern is not mine. It's from Lacey Bloom here on YouTube and just like a simple little pattern and it's gonna be it can like bundle up like this to look like a bouquet and then there's a whole other separate pattern where you make another coaster that's what that little yarn and the project right there on the bed is because <laughs> i'm working on the second one and then you make a little bowl for it and it looks like a crochet like flower bouquet but it's actually a coaster psych you've been fooled but i think those are really cute for just like general home but also for my apartment next fall 
and um yeah just been cranking out the ceramics i'm sure there's been a lot of clips of that um all the like increased like hand held activities all the crafts and arts and crafts ceramics all that activity has kind of like made my wrists kind of hurt mainly this one because it's my right hand that i use most i should become amb ambidextrous so i can like get my bang for my buck on this one <laughs> and that's a weird way to phrase a wrist but um this one's been hurting because just because of like all of the like motion like ceramics takes a lot of hands work so does crochet and like everything else like writing notes for my class and stuff so i've been trying to like do more of the stretches for the wrists and give them a break because i really don't want to get carpal tunnel like that's my worst nightmare as an artist and like so i'm a little worried about that but i should like look into getting a brace or something other ways to prevent it and stuff because i really do not want that so yeah that's just where we're at right now oh i also for my art history class we get extra credit if we make something for the class that pertains to what we're learning so for my project i was thinking at first i was thinking of making a mug with like some roman architecture on it but that was gonna take way too long so i decided not that idea um and then my second my backup which i think is really cute is these cute little like miniature like toy sized like <laughs> this is gonna sound weird toy sized like egyptian organ jars like what are they called canopic jars i guess is what they're called Can I, I guess that's backwards but yeah so miniatures of those i'll show like the clips in a second but i made them out of polymer clay and i'm going to paint them because i use a lot of just basic white for that and then maybe glaze them if i have time but <laughs> i think the idea is cute in like a weird kind of way like kind of creepy kind of cute and I made like the little organs out of like red polymer clay. Dude, I love it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go bake them like right now. And hopefully my professor loves them as much as I do. A little tray full of stuff I'm gonna be baking. That's like some previous work upstairs up here. But here are the like little canopic jars. <laughs> They're so funny. That one is the stomach with Anubis. That one's the liver and that one's like the little human. I gotta paint his eyes on and stuff, but. Then this one's the intestines, I think, with Horus. <laughs> and this one is the baboon. He looks the worst. Honestly, I don't like him. <laughs> he looks like a fish or something, but with the lungs. And those are the jars. The jars are low-key kind of hard to make because, you know, it's clay. But I'll show you what they look like after they bake. I just got back from putting stuff in the oven, hence the headphones vibing um but yeah one of the jars for, didn't have a bottom i forgot to like put it on or whatever when i was measuring make sure the organs could go into it and like fit okay so i had to like run back while it was preheating and cut out a little circle of polymer clay this is like the excess after like cutting out a little circle and attaching it and it was actually perfect timing because the oven was preheated right as i got back so then i just popped it in the oven and i got my timer going got like a couple minutes so yeah hopefully i don't burn my fingers when i'm trying to like get it out of there because i burn my fingers one today on this like revlon this like blow round brush like dryer thingy i use it for my bangs today which is why they got the swoopy on figuring it out i'm figuring it out how to like get the bangs to be bangs so we're working on it but i like this one i never used it before it's my roommates also if you see this roommate Thank you, I love you. <laughs> it's not mine, everyone, it's hers. I'm just a borrower, but I didn't realize like you shouldn't touch this black metal part. The spikes you can touch because of brush, but the black metal part like here, don't touch it <laughs> while you're uh, blow drying or brush drying the bangs because it like burnt my finger. Like it wasn't that bad because I only touched it for a second, but it like skin, the skin like hurts right here now, so. PSA, don't touch the black part of any, any curling device, so, yeah.
Hello! It is Easter, so it's March 31st, I believe. It's weird that it's in March this year, but yeah. Okay, anyways, this dress, it's so pretty. I'm literally in love with it. Whirl! You can't see it. Oh, gosh, dang it. Wait. Ready? We're gonna see if it works. It's hard to twirl right here, but yeah. Anyways, my aunt and my grandma got it for me yesterday. Um, and I literally am in love with it. It's from the brand Jessica K and it's called the Thumbelina dress in blue. And it's literally so pretty. I feel like Cinderella in this dress. And Cinderella has been my favorite princess since I could think. So I love Cinderella. I love this dress. I feel like a princess. Some people today told me I was. So. <laughs> That I look like a princess also. This is the bow I had for Easter. It's not the same shade as this blue, but I was like, it, it's only day of the year I can wear it, so. <sighs> been chilling. I've been wearing this dress for two hours now, and I am a little bit tired <laughs> of wearing the dress for two hours. And I kind of have a headache. So I think I'm gonna chill and kind of like start working on editing probably this video that you're watching. So yeah, but a couple more things. My grandma got me this Easter basket. Isn't it so cute? Oh, I love it so much. Little Easter basket. I'm gonna open this Kinder Joy like little egg because these are so cute. And honestly, you're not too old for these little treats. And I'm so glad my grandma got it for me. So I'm not sure. I think this side. This side feels lighter. Yeah, that's the, the toy side or whatever, so. I'm gonna eat this first because bra delish. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I meant delicious, but okay. <laughs> ah. Ah. side now. It's supposed to be like spring themed. Whoa. The first thing I see is this, so I'm really confused. <laughs> okay, it's got instructions. It wants me to put cold water in it, in here, in this container, and then put him on it. And he's supposedly like, you can't really see, but he's like supposed to spin. And I guess it says he splashes water on the eggs and they turn into Easter eggs. Is that what I'm seeing? I don't know, but I'm not going to splash water on things right now. I'm not on my desk. Maybe later, I guess. <laughs> I can like faintly see the designs anyway. They just leave. Okay, well, maybe I'll do that later. I'll report back on that, but I'm gonna enjoy some candy now and probably get to work editing this video because I've said I've, I've said I'm gonna do it like five times now and I haven't started really at all. So this is past weird past future thing because now you're watching it when it's all done and edited. It's probably April is what I'm guessing, even though today is March 31st, but. You know, I'm anticipating <laughs> because in this current moment, I haven't started editing it, but this is a full video you're watching. Anyways, gotta stop like questioning existence, so. Real quick, here's how the second coaster is coming. I finished the green like plant E part last night because I was feeling in the mood, but I've been taking a lot of breaks to like, to like make sure my wrist is okay and not like hurting too much. What is this? What? Oh, that's my cart. <laughs> I was like, what is that? But this is what the full coaster looks like and I've been putting my water on top of it 
and soon this one will look like it too. It's coming along. And then I can put them in a little pot together and they'll just look like crochet flowers, but then I'll be like, boom, coasters for two. Fun little sad little side note, um, on Sundays my dining like hall that um, is like my main source of food like closes at 5.30 in, and like p.m. 5.30 p.m. because I guess they're just like giving people the day off and so much which makes sense but it's so inconvenient and today I forgot to go before it closed and get dinner so I, I guess I'm just not gonna we're gonna like have s snacks for dinner I have some bagels maybe and a protein shake i was just like really uh, that's really unfortunate i was so invested in editing this video that i just didn't even realize to go get food so luckily this won't be a situation in my future apartment because then we'll just have a kitchen and food will be right out there and i won't have to rely on a meal plan but it just really sucks right now happy easter